BMR handling springs, BMR caster camber plates, their adjustable sway bars, and we have adjustable shocks and struts. And this is the Fitment, guys. It's like a go kart. This thing is a freaking 4,000 pound go kart. This is crazy. I love it. Good morning guys, welcome back to ripping things apart once again. Redoing some of the suspension. Already got the BMR sway bars front and rear. Wow, what a difference. It's really cool because you can like fine tune how you want the car to feel. Adjustable shock struts, we have all of that stuff. I, I don't have a ride, so I, I want the adjustability and I want it all over the car. So now we did have camber plates, but they didn't allow for casters. Made a <laughs> impulse decision to go ahead and upgrade some of these parts, change them over. The S650 is still pretty new. Uh, there's a lot of things that we can do compare this product versus that you know and live the experience and then translate it to camera so you guys can get the full picture and decide for yourselves what route do you want to take especially when it's coming to suspension there's no camber adjustability from the factory so you do want to run something like this or maybe like a camber bolt i suggest the camber plates that's the movement that you can get we're going to take it up a notch let's get all this unpacked and then continue on we got the bmr camber and caster caster adjustment plates okay so they also give you all your hardware spacers if you're running like Kona yellows or the Steeda adjustables like i am or even just the regular pro actions this will fit them all you get your camber adjustability and then you also have caster this is really heavy like heavy duty stuff here so this actually let me show you how this works this is going to sit on the top side and give more support for just this whole area i mean so bmr is really smart about what they do and so more reinforcement is kind of what that's all about the caster adjustment you really want to run like a positive on these cars as much as you can help it and that's really going to help with stability handling these mustangs already have positive caster so so leaning towards the driver and it's going to give you a, that kind of sports car feel right and better handling but with these new plates from bmr we may even be able to adjust it slightly more and actually get this car to like turn and handle even better we're not done so then we have a bunch of other stuff so let's unbox all that and then we're going to breeze through the install because i know you guys are going to care more about like how does it feel on the road just to keep everything kind of same brand i figured you know if we're swapping parts let's just let's just keep it all the same handling springs so nothing wrong with the springs that i had before but stuff like is designed to work together like the sway bars and stuff like that i decided to go ahead and just do it all and we get more adjustability this way so this is a uh, linear rate handling spring and it's designed to work with the sway bars and everything else and it should be a similar ride height but we shall see we also have something that every single mustang guy and i mean everybody out there whether you're road course drag racing it don't matter you got a street car you need this and it's affordable cradle lockouts with the arms from bmr this is the notorious famous you gotta have it if you don't bmr cb005 kit it's going to eliminate 90 to 95 percent of your wheel hop maybe even like 98 percent of the people out there like you this is pretty much all that you need stupid cheap but if you want to save a couple of extra bucks on anything that we're showing here bmr codes down in the video description use code sanders 7 at checkout and save even more money the performance is like serious the engineering is serious but the price is not again save a couple extra bucks with promo code xander7 at checkout when you're shopping at bmrsuspension.com but i digress guys let's get rocking and rolling all right really easy we got it assembled the perch seated there properly so now we're just going to slide her up in the car there is your camber adjustability but then you also have a little bit of back and forth or forward and rear movement for your caster and that will change slightly the angle of the strut to aid in handling and just dialing everything in if you're unfamiliar with the cb005 area right here that is a built-in centering sleeve keeps this centered and when you run your bolt through it's going to center up the front and it's going to replace this stamp steel flexible piece of crap right here it just flat out freaking works you don't need any of that extra stuff the cb005 gets rid of like 95 plus percent of your wheel hop 
um, for like 200 bucks or less. Um, we're about to drop in our new handling spring from BMR, but we also have the rest of the CB005. This I really like. Over top and capture the metal around the bushing. We've got this piece and then in the rear, Kind of the same deal over the top it's going to capture completely over the metal sandwiches everything together this piece right here you're going to run your bolt through we're going to butt up against the bottom of the metal and whenever you run a bolt through it and you torque it down to 129 pound feet it's not going to rotate left right forward it's just going to be completely solid that's why it works so well all right guys we are here trying to beat the weather it's coming in behind me it is looking pretty fierce and nasty but we're here with my 24 mustang with the new bmr suspension guys take a peek at it uh make sure that you are subscribed to the channel get ready for the next couple of videos coming out we still have a bunch more to install and i think that you're gonna love it so keep it glued here right here on this channel it's free after all to subscribe and you can get your taste of of what we're doing to this Ford Mustang. We love Ford Mustangs and everything from S550 to the S650. We're exploring all the options. We're doing all the mods. We're doing everything. This is just the beginning of the story. But anyway, here we go. BMR handling springs, BMR caster camber plates. They're adjustable sway bars and we have adjustable shocks and struts. And this is the fitment, guys. It is glorious. So about a finger gap here in the front, okay, on the S650. And coming to the rear, remember the rear tire is a little taller, so we got still about a finger, almost a little bit less. Pretty, pretty level. You guys can take a peek at it, looking really good on the S650. There you guys can see the fitment of how everything has come together so far, but how does it drive? Well, let's go get some gas, get on the road, see if we can beat the weather, have a little bit of a fun drive before it starts raining on us. So let's go. So it's been actually a couple of weeks since I've had everything installed and truthfully I'm glad because I've got to live with this suspension uh, for that period of time and really get to test it out so we got some cool interesting talking points to discuss instead of just being focused on like okay wow it feels really good and tight in the beginning but now like I've got to experience for example a mix between city driving you know uh, speed bumps you know imperfections to the road highway long distance driving and then also what we built it for is the handling you know how well does it translate into the car how does it feel seat of the pants you know is it comfortable is it too harsh we're gonna answer all those things but in a nutshell I think that basically this is kind of like being able to have your cake and eat it too this setup that we've got right now but yeah right off the bat the adjustable sway bars is like probably I don't know maybe the first thing or one of the very first things that you should do to probably any Mustang, especially the S650, because man, it's wow, it's it's incredible. It's my first time with an adjustable sway bar setup, and man, I don't know why I never did this before, really. I wanted to feel how stiff the front end could be, so we started in that first hold in the stiffest setting on the front sway bar, and man, <laughs> it's, it's the turning was so flat. It's it's really cool interesting to experience but there is a trade-off and a lot of guys don't know this everybody thinks they're gonna put these big bars in a car and like it's just gonna be like the best thing kind of not that way actually you want the car to still have front end grip so the stiffer you go you could actually lose grip and that's what happened in the front we're still on the 19 by 9 19 by 9 and a half OEM factory performance package wheel and tire setup and I did some really tight turning and was just had my foot in the gas and while the car was flat we had no traction on the front end so you know we introduced um, a lot of understeer like a lot of it and so what I did was I moved uh, from the stiffest position uh, to the middle and so it matches the rear and it gives the car more of a neutral setup and <laughs> that was the trick because I can go around these really sharp turns and keep my foot in the gas and the back end's not sliding out I've got a lot of front end grip and the car just rotates it's really 
really cool. If you've never had a car with an adjustable setup, something you can really tailor to the way that you want it to feel, it's really good, man. It's really cool. The other benefit too is like if we drag race, we can change the bar setup. If we auto cross or road race the car, we can change the bar setup. The BMR stuff, it's it's really good too because it doesn't cost you an arm and a leg. And again, we got the promo codes down in the video description. As always, don't sleep on those codes. Might be right right here. That's a good example. Probably saw some camera shake, but not unlivable. But we might actually have a break in the rain, so that's good. And we're gonna floor it around some turns and see how this thing likes to play. Let's go. I was already lowered before, as everybody knows, if you've already seen the video. So, like, why the change? Truthfully, the springs that I was on were the dual rates, and while I love them, and a lot of you guys might as well, they are pretty harsh. I mean. It's a track focus spring that you can drive on the streets. A dual rate linear with a very aggressive rate. But anyway, going to the BMR, um, you can run the handling springs no problem. And we still have the adjustable shocks and struts, so I didn't really change any of those settings that I had before. <laughs> and uh, the first drive was like, wow, it feels like I'm back almost stopped right because it was so much softer but we're still in a linear spring so it's very predictable then I found the back road and I was like all right let's see if I've lost any handling because the car feels so much softer and I got, didn't expect what I it was it was nuts um, yeah we didn't lose anything we did not lose anything if anything I actually gained a little bit more confidence in the car because it wasn't just so jarring you know um, like I was saying this is kind of like being able to have your cake and eat it too kind of deal. The car's a lot more comfortable, a lot more comfortable, and we didn't lose any of the handling. In fact, with the adjustability of the bars, we picked it up, right? So this is kind of the magic ticket, I think. This is great. Um, and you know, BMR's got like really cool stuff. If you're just only into the straight line stuff, you can do their like performance springs or their drag setup. I ran the performance springs on multiple S550s and loved it every time, every time. Now we're on the handling and it's a similar ride, a little bit more, I wouldn't say harsh, but firm. Um, definitely not as aggressive as the spring that we had before. We're about to hit some uh, turns up here. The roads are a little wet, so we'll be careful, but we want to see if we can push it a little bit. nature guys we got to push the content we got to get it out but I'm still eating up through these turns very confident in the tires um, yeah lots of grip lots of grip no problems if the roads are dry we'd be flying through there but the point that I'm trying to get across in the video is like these things are an incredible feeling if you hit a bump like mid-turn or whatever it's not just bumping the car around impacting sucking it up and then the return the rebound is just it's great um, I like this setup, I really do. I'd have no problem driving for 10, 12, 15 hours on this setup and not have a sore back or nothing like that. I don't feel like the car's beating me up, if that makes sense. Cool thing is the, the sharpness of the steering increased. One of the things that's really bad about the S650 is like the numbness of the steering and we got some of that back. So when you lower a car, a lot of times that will improve the steering response, the feel, um, and then with the bars as well, we have a lot of feedback and feeling. It's a lot different now than it was from the factory, which is great. Definitely a much needed thing on the S650s. Really want positive caster for stability, handling purposes, all that, like it, pretty much every situation. I don't really know why you'd want negative camber. Uh, that just seems like it would be bad. Um, but anyway, with these uh, caster camber plates, we got a little bit more of an increase, just a little bit, but the camber adjustability is really what you want. So you can run camber bolts when you're lowering a car, even if you're only dropping it like this much, I would still run a camber plate, and here's why. So <clears throat> when I dropped this off at the alignment shop, um, the guy had never messed with camber plates at all. So I got up there and kind of coached him along and we kind of wrenched on together at a shop and I got to teach him a couple of things, so it was kind of cool. But um, basically you lift the, lift the wheels up off the ground so then you loosen the three strut bolts on each side but then you can move this strut you know left right and then you can really dial in 
the, the camber adjustment that you want. And the cool thing is we get to see it real time on the alignment machine. So all the way out like towards the fenders, you know, we got like a, a, a negative degree or something like that, which is pretty much a factory street setup. What did it look like when we pushed them all the way in? And we got to see that negative three degrees. So in theory, if we go to road course, autocross or whatever else, I could just take them loose, shove them to the inside towards the engine bay, and I know that I'm at like negative three degrees there about. And then whenever I go home, we just adjust them back out and I'm, I'm within, you know, basically negative a degree. When you lower a car, you're going to change camber and there is no camber adjustability on the Mustang. It's hard to get it right if you're not running the camber bolt and you can kind of get there, but a camber plate is really the way to go. It's got to match, right? So as you increase stiffness, you want the grip to match. So when you run wider wheels and tires, you can just elevate the car. So this gives us growing room, if that makes any sense. We're on our way to 50,000 subscribers. I can't get there without your help, but we have mods in the garage. Get ready for the next videos to come. But I digress. Take the wheel and yank it and it just rotates. That's, it's so flat. Look at this. It's like a go-kart. This thing is a freaking 4,000 pound go-kart. This is crazy. I love it. I think it's worth it. I think it's great. I think it rides fantastic. I don't think that there's any cons to this setup at all. So again, adjustable shock struts, um, or you can do like Coney Yellows or whatever else and that aren't adjustable, it'd probably be fine. Uh, BMR handling springs, and we have their camper caster plates and the adjustable sway bars and much more to come. So God bless all of you. I'll see you in the next video. See you later.